and gentlemen after a lot of requests to make this video earlier I was planning to make this video on 6th because I had recorded a session with Sam Jeppy sir and I was planning to upload it on 2nd 3rd 4th 5th and then I was planning to upload this video on 6th but so many people told me that oh if you upload it on 6th then we will not know what to do exactly and then I was like yeah it makes sense so finally here is the video on Akshay Tritya so there you go Akshay Tritya is on 7th of May this year 2019 and every year it's on a different date and the word Akshaya means Chaya means that which diminishes and Akshaya means that which does not diminish over time and Tritya means the third lunar day so Pratipad then you know you have the second lunar day which is Dvitiya then Tritya is the third is the Tithi basically the distance between the Sun and Moon 12 degrees all right so that's the technical part and why this day is so special that one day because that is the day when Sun and Moon both the luminaries which represent our self basically what does the Sun represent the Sun represents our kingdom small or big the things that we own the things that we control the things that listen to us the people that listen to us they represent they are represented by uh, the planet Sun or all right and then moon represents how do we feel about our kingdom imagine you are living in a home but you don't feel like living there so that means there's a problem with the moon there but imagine if you have a very small home but you're very happy there that means moon is very much supporting you in your journey so that's what Sun and moon represents so basically they represent our conception of being in this world one is external and what the other is internal so and on the day of Akshatitya what happens these two planets are in their signs of exhortation because now Sun is in Aries and moon on 7th will be in the sign of Taurus where it's considered to be exalted and therefore when the two luminaries are exalted and yes by the way this year Venus is also going to be exalted on that day because Venus is in Pisces and till the mid of this month May it will continue to be in its sign of exaltation Pisces so now to understand this we have to understand what exaltation means many people think exaltation is good it's great it's fantastic and many people think that debilitation is terrible it's horrible it's worst no it's not like that exaltation simply means that the awareness is very high awareness means a student is very aware that he should study a man a father is aware that he should take care of his children so that's what is awareness to what extent are you aware of your duties and your responsibilities so that means the day when Sun and Moon are exalted it is like saying that you are fully aware of yourself you are fully aware of your responsibilities and duties and that's what the Sun is and internally you are aware the moon is exalted which means you are fully aware of the things that are going the way you want and the things that are not going the way you want so because of that what happens Akshatritya because your internal and external awareness is very high you have a great capacity to do things which will give you fulfillment in the long run people will just say oh Akshatritya is very auspicious oh, sun and moon are exalted just do whatever you want no it doesn't work like that you have to understand what happens when sun and moon are exalted that day what happens you are totally aware of your externals that you have certain goals in life you want things to manifest externally and you have internal goals that you want to feel a certain way about your existence so when you are totally aware then you know what are the flaws which you have in your life currently the external shortcomings and the internal problems so it's like saying you are totally aware that day 
of who you are who you were and who you want to be in the near future so that day you can exactly figure out what you should be doing in life right because you can see the internal and external very clearly that day of course that will happen to the degree you are connected with some spiritual path if you are just hovering around it may not happen but nonetheless it's a very auspicious day because your awareness of the external realm and the internal self is very high so the question is now uh, what to do in akshay tritiya many people say there are different things you know akshay tritiya is famous for so many things well that you can find in youtube you can find in google but long story cut short okay if you still want me to say one or two things i can say that uh, they say uh, the treta yuga started that time and then they say that you should buy gold you should do donation you should do this you should do that whatever good you can do you should do that day but the question is what is the greatest good that we can do to ourselves or to anybody because see whatever you do during that day they say that it keeps expanding why because that day you are fully aware because that day what you decide to do will be very natural for you it will exactly be you nobody but you you will see you <laughs> so that means that day whatever you start doing you will naturally feel like doing it always like doing it every day why because that is who you are so that is the day long story cut short you should be doing things which give which will give you the highest level of fulfillment which will become a part of your soul and the mind atma which is the sun which is the soul and manas which is moon when you do that what happens you will obtain the highest fulfillment because that will elevate you not at a soul level at an emotional level also that will elevate you so now the question is then what should we be doing exactly on akshay tritiya well there are many things you can do i said you can do donations and all this but that's not important here according to me at least because you can donate anything to anybody anywhere anytime is is not required that you do it on that day only but there's one thing that you can do and what's that to know what we should do in life and what we should not do we should always refer to the word of the rishis we should read the scriptures to know what exactly we should be doing when and what when we should not be doing what and if you talk of the scriptures the there are different scriptures like the vedas the upanishads and you know, there are puranas and so many other scriptures are there in the vedic tradition at least but there's one scripture which the great sage vyasadev had written and by the way it's also said that mahabharata was written it was the work was started on akshay tritiya they say and some say parshuram was also born that day now the thing is vyasadev wrote all these scriptures almost and then what happens he is unsatisfied he is empty inside after writing all the vedas puranas and upanishads and then his great guru narad muni comes and visits him and narad muni says oh great sage he is being sarcastic here <laughs> oh great sage you don't look to be very happy what's the problem in fact narad muni asks him how are you my dear disciple and vyasadev is like oh you know i am frustrated still you ask that question <laughs> because narad muni wants vyasadev to go deep inside he wants vyasadev to figure out what what should i do next <laughs> and then vyasadev says i don't know my dear gurudev i have written so many scriptures so many books but i'm not happy i'm unhappy i'm dissatisfied i'm miserable inside i'm feeling empty i'm feeling lonely i'm stressed i'm messed i'm depressed 
I don't know what went wrong. And then Narad Muni answers the question because the Guru exactly knows where the problem is. He can exactly tell you what to do and what not to do. <laughs> That's the greatness of a Guru. So, is that Guru Narad Muni told him that now you wrote everything but you did not write any book which exclusively gives spiritual stuff. Which means a large portion of the Vedas, Upanishads, the Puranas, Ramayana, Mahabharat, everything, all the Puranas included, 18 Puranas. There's a lot of mundane materialistic stuff inside it. Like for example, do this yagya, you will go to the heavens, you will enjoy, you know, you will have nice company of the opposite sex and you will eat good food there, you will live long. But there's one scripture which you should write, which directly elevates people at the level of the soul which does not waste time talking or discussing anything about material stuff about this material world which does not mean that it does not talk at a literal level but that's not the goal and then Vyasdev starts writing the Srimad Bhagavatam so that means if we should learn from the rishis what to do and what not to do then on the day of akshatitya the best thing we could do is we could either uh, start reading the Srimad bhagavatam or if we are already reading it then we can give this to somebody else you can make monetary donations also but that's fine but rather than uh, giving sweets you know rather than giving things like uh, uh gold rather than giving things like you know mobile laptop rather than giving all this you can give there's no problem i'm not speaking against it but you can give the highest because shivat bhagavatam is known as the amalam puranam which means amala means free of dirt it's completely pure it's very clear it's like the sun it's like Surya. Sun is light. When when there is light, there is no darkness. All the problems in this world is because of conception of material reality. People think that I am this body, I have my existence, sun and moon, <laughs> and I should feel good about it. That's what the problem is. And that is why there is suffering. Oh, I lost my job. I lost my boyfriend. I lost my girlfriend. I lost my husband. I lost my wife. This happened. That happened. Oh. All the problems of this world are because of only one reason. Because we have forgotten that we are, uh, we are spirit souls. And Srimad Bhagavatam is that book which will elevate us to that consciousness. As the Bhagavatam says, you know, Nityam Bhagavat Sevaya that that's very clear that one who listens and reads the Srimad Bhagavatam every day all the dirt will be cleansed from his heart heart there will be no dirt left all the fear is extinguished people are so fearful these days oh my god this will happen that will happen people have so much anxiety oh if this doesn't happen what will happen if that doesn't happen, what will happen? Why? Because we are very much aggressive towards making a kingdom in this world. But when you read the Srimad Bhagavatam, you will know what exactly you should be doing. Because it changes your paradigm. It changes your view about life. Because it tells you that the ultimate goal of life is to obtain love for God. Anything below that is of not much use. Now you may be thinking that, oh, I had seen 10 videos on Akshay Tritya in YouTube and everybody was telling me, you know, oh, buy gold, do this, do that. Oh my God. And what the hell is this person talking about? He's talking about spirituality to, to do spiritual stuff on Akshay Tritya. Well, that is exactly what you should be doing. Apart from all the stuff which you will hear in YouTube. So therefore, let us start reading the Srimad Bhagavatam that day. You can start from the first sloka. 
जन्मादेश यथोन्वयादितरथस्थु भिज्ञस्वराट ते ब्रह्म हृदयादिकवे मुह्यती यत सूरया तेजो वारी मृद यथा विनीम स्त्रीसर्गो मृषा धाम स्वयन निरस्तकुहाक सत्यम पराम धीमह दैट्स द फर्स्ट वर्स ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय इट स्टार्ट्स विद दिस इनवोकेशन दैट आई ऑफर माय हम्बल रेस्पेक्ट्स माय ओबेसेंसेस टू लॉर्ड वासुदेव हु इज द सन ऑफ वासुदेव दैट मीन्स ही इज रेफरिंग टू लॉर्ड कृष्णा हिमसेल्फ यस एंड देर द वर्ड इज यूज अभिज्ञ स्वराट सो इट्स the best thing that you can do on akshay tirtha there is nothing else that you can do and apart from that if you are traveling to some holy places it's best that day or if you are uh, planning to do some serious spiritual practices that day it's excellent so uh, if you are planning to fast it's wonderful it's amazing if you can you should fast rather than going out to restaurants and eating let us fast on that day <laughs> let's fast at least till sunset let us not eat anything during uh, the day uh, the day and let us not even eat anything before the sunrise many people they try to cheat sometimes what they will do is they will get up at 3 o'clock and then 3 to 5 you know they will take very nicely <laughs> and then after 5 when the sun is in the sky they are like oh my fasting has started now well you could do that but the main reason why fasting is emphasized in the scriptures is so that you save your time in you know you don't waste time cooking that day because these days are very special you don't you don't uh, just get these days every day it happens only once in a year so that day let us fast and on that day let us not pollute our consciousness by unnecessary garbage gossip by watching things like you know the news or anything what is going on in this world that one day of the year let us devote exclusively to spiritual practices if you can take a leave that day it's fantastic if you can take a holiday wonderful if you cannot if you can take half day it's great <laughs> and on that day you could also do some other things uh, like if you have some problems with somebody if you had a fight or quarrel with somebody or you know, there was some misunderstanding or anything which you think was not good then you can go and ask forgiveness to that person from that person uh, or if somebody had asked forgiveness from you you could you could forgive that person that day because then your awareness will improve because remember sun and moon exalted very high awareness and apart from this you can also help anybody who has helped you so if you know somebody who has benefited you your life who has improved your life not necessarily monetarily by any means it can be then you can go and benefit that person also you can make some donations you can do online donations or you can also donate to goshalas where cow protection is uh, going on and you can also do things like pujas and different ceremonies you can do that all those things are secondary but the most important thing is that we should devote ourselves exclusively for spiritual practices that day because whatever you do that day that day your awareness will be very high so it's like saying if you do spiritual activities that day for the next year entire year your awareness will be very high but if you waste that day by doing things like you know gossiping or watching movies or roaming with the opposite sex then remember whatever you do on that day will expand so now the choice is yours you want good things to expand in life or no comments <laughs> all right so if you eat meat then let us abstain from eating meat that day and if you are a vegetarian let us try to fast at least on that day all right and let us not indulge in watching 
anything which has you know adult stuff in the internet pornography or anything of that sort at least on that day for god's sake and let us also not indulge in you know gossip you know oh who is having an affair with who how did that person got that promotion oh what's going on here there and the greatest thing you can do on akshay tritya is you can spread spiritual knowledge and that is why i was waiting last year because last year on akshay tritya i started the shrimad bhagavatam playlist yes exactly one year back i started and there are so many people who have messaged me that you know oh after watching your shrimad bhagavatam videos all our bad habits have gone away we have become spiritual so so many it's like every day or the other some person is messaging me i have seen boys doing it within the age of 18 19 imagine that time when you know your senses are at the peak no they are messaging me that oh this is happening and there are ladies who message me girls 20s 30s 40s 50s 60s 70s that oh our lives have changed after reading the shrimad bhagavatam after hearing the videos and, and i was like wow finally <laughs> so whoever is there near you you can just start talking something on spirituality or if you don't know anything you don't have to do anything just take the shrimad bhagavatam and start reading because always remember wherever you wherever the shrimad bhagavatam is the wherever people are relishing shrimad bhagavatam i i won't call it reading then it is said that if the speaker is relishing then the dem, the demigods the devatas indra chandra varuna you know yama kubera all these devatas they come and they are sitting and they are hearing so you may be thinking oh life's terrible you know i am alone in this room and i am just sitting and reading Shrimad Bhagavatam. I am reading the first shloka. I am reading the second shloka. I am reading the third shloka. Life's bad, you know. I am alone. But no, you are not alone. All the demigods, they they are sitting there and they are hearing, because the highest glorification of Lord Vishnu is there in that, which they are also hankering after. So don't think that you are alone when you are reading the Shrimad Bhagavatam. <laughs> If you are doing it sincerely, provide it. all right and i will post a link in the description section you can uh, purchase the set in amazon and apart from that you can always read the gita and you can chant mantras what kind of mantras you can chant this mantra om namo bhagavate vasudevaya you can chant om namo narayanaya you can also chant because narsing chaturdashi is on the corner on 17th you can chant om namo bhagavate narasimhaya this mantra you can chant you can chant so many mantras my god so many mantras are there so the best thing is on akshay tritya get up in the brahma muhurt and then after that you start start uh, start fasting if it's very difficult you can do it with water and then start reading reading the shrimad bhagavatam and chant mantras and you can do some donations so that day of the year if you utilize properly the rest of the year will be good good doesn't mean storms will not come in your life that will come by your karma but you will be able to handle them all right and at least if you cannot do any of these activities do not do any wrong activity that day at least this is like bare minimum all right that is it i hope uh, people will benefit from reading the shrimad bhagavatam and wish you all the best in starting that and uh, what else good luck all right and yes i forgot to say god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and on akshay tritya definitely will find him okay and yes if you are new then like comment share and subscribe and you can share this video with somebody who is interested to know what akshay tritya is and what to do on those days and yes if you want a reading from me you can go down to my website that also you will find in the description section below okay god is there with you all the time just no don't look you read and you experience him okay wish you all the best bye bye